Hey yo, what's going on everyone? It's Cry. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, in this video, basically what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys how to create custom fonts on CarX uh, using a program called Nomax. Uh, it's a very, very helpful program when it comes to livery making. Um, a lot of people that I know use it and it's very helpful, uh, especially when making custom fonts. You can use it for other things like making, you know, maybe anime liveries or whatever you would like to make. But uh, yeah, custom fonts is the thing that I personally use it for. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, do that right now. So let's get into it. All right. So first step, head over to the description and you're going to go to this download link uh, right over here. We call it Nomax Image Lounge, and it should look just like this. What you're gonna do is click the download link right here, the blue one, and click the setup. And you just wanna go through the setup. It's super simple, not much to do. Kinda open it, and then uh, go through the install, finish, and uh, boom, once you're done, then head over here, type on Nomax Image Lounge, and it should look just like this. And open it up. Uh, you won't have any of these stickers here. This is because I've been using it for a while. But uh, yeah, basically, next thing you're going to need to do is you need to find a either a PNG I would recommend or something that you can use as a uh, as a font. So whatever you want to make as a font. So like, for example, uh, just for here, I'm going to use the Garage Thrash Racing um, sticker as a oops, sorry, use a Garage Thrash Racing sticker as an example. So we're just going to plop it in here. And um, next thing we're going to do is you can't see it right now, but just uh, ignore that. So at the top here, um, you're going to click on view right here. Uh, click on view and then you click on frameless. And then once you click on that, uh, it should pop up. Now, if it doesn't look like this and it's like dark in the background, um, it looks like this. Basically, right click and then click full screen. So it'll be off of full screen. So you can kind of do whatever you want. So now you can kind of drag this around, do whatever. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be touching this right now. So we're going to head back to CarX. All right. So once we're here, we come over to settings and then we're going to go to graphics and make sure you're off of full screen. Okay. You need to be off of full screen for this to work. Uh, full screen. Sorry. You need to be off of full screen for this to work or else it's not going to. So next, head over to your liveries. All right. So once you're here, then what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on your Nomax uh, app here. And then uh, it should look just like this. So now you can kind of adjust it to be placed where you want it. Now, if you want to rotate it, uh, you right click and then you go to a uh, view uh, or no, sorry, edit. And then you can uh, adjust it here. You can rotate it like this. Like that. So you want to rotate it um, or whatever you want to do. Um, next we're going to do is going to click here. So once you have it in a spot you like, you're going to click control, shift, alt, and B. All right. So once you do that, it should lock in place. Um, it'll probably like move, but it'll snap back into place in a second. Um, yeah. All right. So once you have it, uh, locked into place, uh, before you do that, you need to make sure that, uh, you have the opacity down so there's a few key binds that you probably need to know so the first one being the opacity so before you do the locking um oh I, it doesn't really matter but uh after you do the locking if you want you can change the opacity so what you do is you just uh again make sure you don't have it locked um so you can move it around and stuff uh then you click Control and j and that'll change the opacity just like that and then if you want to change it back up, you hit control shift and J. So control J is to go down. Control shift J is to go back up. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, so that's the two key buttons are control shift alt B to lock it. And then control shift alt B to unlock it. And then control shift J to bring the opacity up and control J to bring the opacity down. Um, I'll leave the key buttons down in the uh, description just so you know, it's easier to see but uh yeah that's basically it so again uh you want to lower the opacity to however much you want i'd recommend two clicks and then you should be good uh again depends on what you're making so yeah uh then you're gonna do Control shift alt b to lock it in place again and from here what you can do 
happens now you can go into car x uh you can click on car x itself so you're back in the game oops and now you can go into the livery editor and you can start making the livery so for example i want to make this all right so the other thing you need to remember is don't move your analog stick because if you move your analog stick what's going to happen is it's going to move the whole screen so if i move my analog stick it's going to move the whole sticker and you don't want that so you need to make sure you do not move your analog stick and a good way to prevent that is by when you copy layers so instead of like adding a layer here right and then going in and then adding another layer right here usually you have to click down on your right analog stick to do it and you might accidentally move it so to prevent that basically make sure you have your layer and then you're going to copy it and then you're going to click add control and then replace it and then you can just do the same thing so use the same sticker plus what it'll do is it'll keep the sticker the same size um so you don't have to keep resizing it and uh yeah you can just keep going through with that um go through with that and then you start making the livery uh yeah anyways if this helped you let me know if you have any problems or if this was a little too confusing i'm sorry I'm not the best at tutorials i kind of suck uh i just thought i'd put this out here for people uh because it's a very helpful app and yeah anyways let me know in the comments if you have any issues or uh go into my discord link in the description um ask for some help uh, i'll be sure to help and uh yeah anyways thank you guys for watching peace out everyone